All right, it's time for me to come clean with you. Um, over the last few years, something's come over me. I just haven't been as enthusiastic as in, or as inspired to interview as many authors or to read as many books as I used to. These days, I'm way more interested in sharing stories about real people going through real transformations. I find books to be very polished and groomed and homogenized. They're, they're made that way to be sellable and catchy. But what they do is they leave out how gritty and uncertain and nonlinear the growth process really is. They give so many folks the impression that lasting growth and, and change is really boiled down to a few simple steps. But the thing that really turns me off about all of this information overload is that many of us think that devouring books and podcasts is the same thing as doing the work. And it's just not. And I want, you, I want to be really clear. I'm not against new ideas, and I'm certainly not against knowledge, but I am tired of seeing how the search for new ideas is becoming a distraction from engaging our challenges and the opportunity to grow. This is coming from a guy who spent two years reading about meditation before actually starting a meditation practice. This is coming from a guy who has devoured stacks of personal growth books and interviewed hundreds of experts in this field. This is coming from a guy who is a, a recovering self-development jackass. I get the excitement that comes from learning a new idea. It's a great dopamine fix. It gives us the impression that new possibilities are within reach. It makes us feel smart and special. I love all of that. Uh, but I also spend my days in the trenches working with real people that are going through real transformations. They're overcoming fears. They're overcoming doubts so that they can create the businesses and the relationships and the lifestyles that they truly want. And while new ideas can be refreshing, nothing compares to what happens when we roll up our sleeves and we get to work. There's no book and there's no new idea that is going to do that part for you. This kind of transformation where we step out of complaining and blaming and get to work creating what we want isn't a one-size-fits-all approach. It's unique to the individual. It's closer to art than building IKEA furniture. And so my challenge for you is to look at how much time you may be spending devouring ideas and podcasts and books on personal development. And then I want you to slow down and compare that to the amount of time you may be spending actually engaging that process. In other words, how much time are you spending as a spectator and how much time are you spending in the game? Now, there's no need to self-criticize or turn this into some kind of a self-flagellation exercise. I just want you to pivot. Ask yourself, what's the smallest, simplest action that I could take today that would improve or move things forward? It's probably a phone call or a conversation with your business partner or your wife. It, it probably doesn't require that you need to do anything drastic in your life before you can simply do this thing. It's the next step that's been obscured by all of the information and the stuff we like to distract ourselves with. So what if you turn off this video and right now, right now, leaned in and actually did that small, simple thing, and the next one after that, and the next one after that? How would you feel as a result of building that momentum? How would you feel as you began to make real, tangible progress? That's nothing you're going to get from a video or a podcast or a book. It's something you create on your own. And that experience is what I want for you more than this next big idea.